the Ferrari. Behind Prost is Alboreto. Then behind Berger is Patrese and behind Alboreto is Bootson. So, all set now, 43 laps. Grueling race. And watch for La Sorte. Senna gets away well. Nanini is coming up, but it is Prost leading into the first corner. Then it's Senna, then it is Alboreto, followed by Berger, followed by Nanini, followed by Riccardo Patrese. And down the hill they go. There are two Ferraris. The two McLarens have already got a gap. It's Prost leading, starting as he needs to go on. Out, up the long drag now to Le Redaillon into Kemmel and the right-hander at Lake Corb. It is a Benetton in fifth position. Cross look across his shoulder and sees Ayrton Senna on the inside, taking the lead. So Ayrton Senna leads about a third of the way round the first lap. Now Cross tucked up behind him. Then it's Berger in third position. Alboreto fourth in the second Ferrari, coming towards us now. The Ferrari performance in practice was much closer than it has been in the past. But as James has said, fuel consumption may well tell later on in the race. But Berger certainly looks as though he's going for it. You can see that the circuit is absolutely dry as they come round the fast left-hander there. That is Lefania down to Rome Corner, which is a third gear at about 120 miles an hour. Then up leading, now the replay of the start. Yes, tremendous start by Prost. He got the drop on Senna there, and he really needed a good start, but of course it's all gone to waste now. The fact that uh, Senna got the toe off him up the long straight out of Eau Rouge and managed to get past him. But because this is a race Prost must win if he's to stand a chance uh, to win the World Championship. Senna has very much got the edge. He's got two more wins than Prost under his belt at the moment. And uh, there's no way Prost can uh, lose this race to Senna and expect to stand a chance in the championship. The